It's time once again for the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. I've been thinking a little bit about what to call this combination game. I think, I think probably in titling, I'll, I'll still call it the combination game of Tempest and Innovation, but um, I was thinking of a, a, a mental shorthand to how I could refer to it or how I could refer to it when I speak to it uh, to others, primarily my wife. Uh, so I was thinking I could combine them in the obvious way, which would be to smoosh the two words together. They're both one-word titles, so it would be fairly easy to do. So that, that leaves me with two, two basic options, right? We have Tempovation and then Innovumpus, I guess? Innovumpus? Innovumpus sounds more fun to me, but I think Tempovation maybe in a weird way might speak a little bit to to what the game could potentially um, speak about uh, beyond a little bit about civilization. The, the, both games have a very different tempo to them, right? So like, maybe even slower than that would be the tempo of Tempest. Um, and then, that might be innovation's tempo. Um, it would, though that varies f from game to game, I think pretty much every song of Tempest would have that same steady rock beat. Um, whereas Innovation is a little more avant-garde. Um, I, I want to thank all of you uh, on... Well, I can't really thank on his behalf, but thank all of you who have sent me personal messages of appreciation for playing Joe D'Agostino's music. Uh, I've certainly enjoyed it. I will get to the rest of creation by the end of this game. I think I only got through day eight in the last video. Um, there's two more days, so I don't know if I'll fit them both in this one. I want to delve into some of his other works, either where the tools are or maybe some of his earlier stuff. Where the tools are, I kind of wanted to sync up with um, later on in the, the eras, in either when, hopefully when Tempest and Innovation get to the, the more uh, modern times, I guess, because where the tools are has this sort of um, it samples a lot from the space program, so I think that would be kind of cool to have in the background. Um, so right back into it, let's take a look at how people have been doing. Um, so we have Bix Beetleman here. He total, currently has, let's see, he's purple. So he has a total of eight points, but no achievements. All right. Smiley, she got the first achievement, if you recall. She's sitting on eight innovation points, and she's yellow, so she's got... Um, two, so she has a total of ten points. So she could take another achievement right now because she finally played this card. That's right, last time. So this is an era three. She can take the era two achievement. Um, but I think she's going to be the she's going to be the third one to go. Um, so she'll be going after uh, what's his name? Jeez, the blue baby. What's his name? Lefty, right? I always remember him as the blue baby and not Lefty. Uh, but his name's Lefty, so we should respect that. He only has three points now. Um, he had more, but Beetleman took some points from him last turn. Uh, and then on the map, he only has one more. He chose to go on mountains because he wanted that tower dominance. The mountains don't score points, as you recall. So he has only four points, no achievements. And then our um, our semi-finalist here, Roadrunner, she has seven points. All right, so that's where we're at. It looks like Smiley's kind of in the lead numerically. Board position-wise, I'd say I like where Roadrunner's sitting a bit better. Everyone else is kind of cramped. Let's get to play. Since he's first, we'll uh, take a little peek into the mind of Lefty to see what he's thinking about. He's thinking about construction right now. Um, if you look at construction, if he has the five, if he's the only player with five top cards, he would get the Empire achievement. That's one of these special achievements over here that you get automatically uh, without even having to do an action. Though in this case, it would be through the dogma that he would do it. It's a special case. Um, normally, you have you would have to have three or more of all six icon types. I'm going to say for these special achievements, when they refer to icon types, it's going to be just icons on the board. It's not going to refer to the additional icons they get from Tempest. Um, I think that kind of counterbalances how um, these icons don't affect the uh, environmental types in terms of uh, for advancement. Um, so 
He was really hoping to get that construction. He was starting to do it. He was short one color, but now Roadrunner has the monotheism. The monotheism card can definitely change a game quite a bit. Um, and he doesn't really feel like he can get the powers he needs to beat that back, so he's going to have to do something else. Um, since his board position is pretty weak here, he doesn't want to try to make that stronger. He doesn't want to uh, waste the actions to do that. It would take a couple of actions, and he only has three right now. Um, so what he's going to do is he's going to draw three, and then I think he is going to invoke his mathematics. So he can return a card from his hand, this three, and then draw him out the card of value one higher. So that's pretty nice for him. He's going to get a jump in age. But first, other people are going to do that. So let's actually take that back and give her the chance. I think she... Does she want to do it? She has two. I don't know if Roadrunner wants to do it or not. The problem with doing that is the card she melded could would just be a three, and it could mess with her monotheism. I don't think she's going to. She also wants to deprive Lefty of the card. Um, so Lefty's going to be the only one to do it. So I'm going here. I'm going to try and go faster than that. And then he gets to meld the Reformation. All right. It's interesting to have Reformation and monotheism. Roadrunner's turn. Monotheism is once again rearing is fully ahead. She is going to take the clothes off of Vix Beetleman. Hey! And the sailing off of Lefty. And that's going to give her nine points. That's close to what she needs. Um, let's see what the draw and tucks are. Draw and tuck a one. So Vix Beetleman blue. She's really hoping one of these guys gets a green or a red in a draw and tuck. And she, that did not work. She had a plan for perhaps getting the um, achievement this turn. That didn't work at all. Um, but she gets to draw and tuck one, so we'll see what that is. And then it's a green, so even the greens are no longer going to be stealable via monotheism. It seems like monotheism might be played out. She's going to have to think about what she wants to do for her second action. Roadrunner dogland her domestication for perhaps the last time and caused her to play that and draw a card and then had to watch as Smiley took the classical achievement. She now has two achievements. She's halfway to victory currently. Um, so she took that and now she's going to do this demand. Um, she's going to demand that everyone, she is actually the leaf master despite having a small board presence and a small number of leaves or small number of cards. Um, but everyone's going to have to do this. They have to exchange the highest cards in their hand with the, or the, all the cards in their hand with the highest cards in her hand. So that's not going to be huge, but she's going to take a card for nothing from Lefty and then trade that card to um, Roadrunner, I think is how it turns out. So she does the demand to each of them in turn. And then she gets to score a card from her, in, from her hand with a tower. She doesn't have that, and she doesn't have red cards to split. Vix Beetleman, he's going to have babies. Uh, two babies. Normally he'd only get to have one because he is in uh, agricultural age, I guess. Uh, but he used to have two because he uses medicine, which I guess makes it so another baby survives. The origins how we became human, the equivalent is swaddling. I don't know what's on Lefty's mind now. It's math. He's going to draw a card. He's innovating again choosing not to improve his board presence, his Tempest board presence, in favor of where he thinks he might have a chance. He's going to ride his math as far as possible. Uh, so he drew a card, and then he's going to return the card in order to draw and mail the card higher. He's trying to stay ahead of everyone in, in terms of um, in terms of era. Um, so he got another purple card. He's got this quite impressive splay. I'll have to see if there's a special... Um, special achievement for having a lot of cards in a row. I'm certain he doesn't have enough yet, but now he has Societies and Math. And Roadrunner is going to achieve, as you recall at the beginning, uh, we were talking about how Lefty could not use his construction due to monotheism. The threat of monotheism would take the construction away. Um, 
because of Smiley's weird machinery action, which she was just kind of doing because she needed something to do after Achieve. Remember, you get two, two actions right now when you innovate. Um, but now she has it. She drew that green, so she has five colors on her board. Very small number of colors on the board for this point in the game, really. Um, but she's going to be able to do the construction now. So she's going to basically get everyone's cards from their hand, which is Smiley. That's it. And then Smiley gets a card. And then she is the only player with five top cards, so she can claim the Empire achievement. She gets another action stuff. She's going to use her three card and her tools to do something kind of fun. She's going to return this three card in order to draw three ones, since there are no ones that goes up to the three, so she's going to draw the three back and also get these two fours. Bix, Beetleman, and Smiley op both opted to move people. You can see where they went there. Um, as they were doing that, I, I realized something about this game, or, or I kind of remembered something, I guess. In Tempest, uh, typically... So typically you're you're drawing a lot of these cards to make the use of make the the other actions in the game more beneficial to you. I wonder if um, as time goes on we won't see that those other actions kind of diminish in in quality because of the lack of these cards. I don't know if that's going to kill the game or not, but it'll definitely um, change it in a particular way. Lefty used his math again and got vaccination. Um, and Roadrunner finally used her advantage that she has over everyone right now. She's the only one who gets to have two babies. She's set up to have four babies. Um, unfortunately, she's only going to be able to have the two. I think she kind of got distracted by having the new construction car. She had been planning to double up all of these spaces prior to the turn's finish. But everyone else is going to catch up now. She still has a lot more birthing fields than everyone else that she has control of. They might have to start fighting her for them. Um, fighting is another thing that's going to be very different in this game without a lot of cards prevalent. People who do have cards are going to have um, a, a pretty pretty substantial advantage in terms of armed conflict with their neighbors. Right, once again, Bix and Smiley just moved around, and that's going to end the round. Uh, so this is going to move over to Rotor, and she's going to start the next round. Everyone moves up to the age of the Scythe, and then... I think Smiley, yep, Smiley ensured that she would be the next one to move up. Again, people could play cards in order to increase their chances. All, what they're going to be getting in this next age is an increase in their stacking limit, which is nice in a way. Um, so how you make a city is you transfer however many people you have in the hex into a city, uh, and the city's worth that many points. So the nice thing about that is you know, you, you can score based on how many hexes you hold, but a city's worth more. So, say if, um, I guess Smiley's the one who's going to have it, she puts another person there, she can turn that into a, a three-point hex, basically, for her. Um, whereas the other hexes around her are only going to be worth one. That's going to be good for her right now, because she is penned in. She has no access to the south. She hasn't really been thinking about the game in terms of... Um, uh, the map and a lot of people really haven't they have been thinking about board position and partially because the board position um, element of the game is almost in slow motion like movement starts off very slow it's gonna start to pick up um, when we get down here you know people are gonna have to be able to start moving two spaces and then you know two pieces two spaces and then finally they're gonna be able to move through the water which will change things quite a bit their Roadrunner has a bunch of babies. I forgot to mention, Smiley uh, also gets an extra action. That's pretty big, actually. She has one more action than everyone else this round. She's going to take the first one right now, and she's going to move right there. Bix had a couple more babies. He had two birthing fields, three actually. He was only able to use two of them, and that was, uh, and he was able to make use of them. Very good Bix. Um, but noticing, I wanted to share this with you, that a lot of players have been turning more to the Tempest side of things lately. I think um, they're doing that in lieu of what I think of as the draw phase in innovation. So in innovation, uh, at least when I play, and the people I play with play, you want to be doing things all the time. You want to be, um, you know, uh, not necessarily, but you want to make the most of your cards. Generally, when you have to just draw a card, it feels like that's that's almost a failure. It's when you, you're unable to do anything else. Um, we have several players who are in that position uh, who aren't really able to use their boards. So rather than just draw a card, which feels a little slow compared to the you know, 
frenetic abilities of, uh, on the cards and, and whatnot. You know, cards will let you draw several cards uh, sometimes. Um, they're turning to the board instead. And in some cases, finding their position a bit wanting. Lefty has been waiting through all my babbling to do this. He's demanding that everyone, and he's going to affect everyone because he is the leaf master right now. His lovely splayed purple here, um, pink magenta, I guess, um, gave him two extra leaves and he has two from the vaccination and his only like non-tower place has got, got another one. He has five. He's dominating leaves. He, he's going to demand that everyone returns all the lowest cards in their score pile. So here we're seeing so let's shoot. Two. Vix Beetleman's going to return two ones. And that does two things. It's going to take everyone down a peg and it's going to allow him to draw and meld a seven. Now he has to be careful at the rate that he's in, in, uh, uh, going up here in ages. If he goes too far, the game could end very quickly and he might not be in the best position to capitalize on that. It really depends on whether it's one of the cards that just gives you an instant win and he happens to meet that criteria, which he could. He has a pretty, he's one of the stronger boards on the board. Boards in the innovation sense. These are called a board. Um, but he could end the game by drawing the last 10 card. You know, there gets to be cards that cause you to draw several 10 cards. Um, if that's the case, then he would probably lose because he's definitely the, the low scorer still, even though he took out a bunch of people's innovation cards. People have a rather high score on the board, or some of them, Bix and Roadrunner. I wouldn't say high, but they're getting most of their points from there. And he did it again. So he is now the only person who has any sort of innovation score. Well, he has three. Um, so that's going to put him a little more even with everyone else. He's now pulled ahead of Smiley, who has two. Um, she was the highest scorer, I think, at one point. Uh, she was for, she might have been before that, I don't remember. Um, covered up his precious math. That was the cost. However, what he covered up with was publications, which if he really wants to get his math back, he can use publications to rearrange the order and bring math back to the forefront. And they caused Roadrunner to take a newfound interest in her board here. She wasn't able to do much. She did this colonialism. She was only able to get one card out of it, which isn't as much as she would have liked, of course. And then Smiley did a move here. So she's kind of spread out. She's not looking very good on the innovation track or on the Tempest track. So she got that, that fast lead. She has those two achievements, and we're not going to take those away from her. We're not going to say that she has to get like an extra two achievements like we did with some people, but I don't know what, what she's going to do now. Um, I don't know if looking at this, at the, I think we should call this the continent. If looking at the because we have our board here, and then we have the continent. So let's call this the continent. I don't know if looking at the, the continent is going to be her salvation. Seems like the innovation cards could, could give her a, a more a quicker turnaround, and that's where she got success in the past. We'll see if she, if she thinks the same thing. Look how spread out Bix is. Lefty um, did use publications after all, which caused publications, sadly, to be... Um, sadly to be covered up by mathematics, um, which I guess is happy if you like math, but sad if you enjoy published works like magazines or books um, or games. And um, so he did that and then drew a seven. He's got this great splay that he got, however. This is a, Vix is spread out on the continent and Lefty is spread out here on his board. Look at all those icons. After Roadrunner tucked a couple more cards with Colonialism, neither of which had the, the crown she did. Crown is a pretty um, common icon, but she just wasn't getting that. She was a card counter. Maybe she would have known that that wasn't the case, but she wasn't able to do that. Smiley had some babies. Remember, she's going to have one more action. Everyone else is going to be spent out here pretty soon. And Bix Beetleman, what did he do? He had babies as well. Lefty drew a couple cards. Not very active for him. And Smiley, she is going to have babies once more. She has the stacking limit of three. She's going to make use of it. Um, that's going to give her a uh, fighty advantage against Roadrunner. Though Roadrunner showed no inclination to attack, nor has really anyone yet. Um, we'll see what happens as people spread out. They're certainly getting closer. But it also, um, if she was to have a city, that would be a three-point city instead of a two-point city. 
let's take a look at um, where people go. So let's see, Forest is going to be the next one. What is that the age of? Can you tell what that is? Is that a, a map? Oh, is that a? Oh, that's a. That's like a prairie wagon, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it's like a prairie wagon. That would make sense, though. Why? Why is there a prairie wagon here? It also looks like maybe. A, I can't tell what that is. I'll have to look in the the book. It might say what all the things are. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, roads. There we go. This <laughs> thing said. I always ignore this. Um, yeah, so Rhodes. This is the age of Rhodes. There we go. Alright, so we're in the age of Rhodes now. Oh, well, we'll see who gets to be in the age of Rhodes. Sorry, I'm a little scattered. I don't know why. Uh, Big Speedleman, I guess. Because he has two forests there. No one has the cards, I don't believe, and I've looked at them recently, so no. No one has the cards to contend that. Um, so he's going to get, what's his special? Oh, he gets to go two spaces instead of one. I think he was maybe counting on that because he can open himself up here. He can jump to the southern continent and be able to be the first one to colonize down there. He's spreading out quite nicely. It feels like it's really starting to warm up. The little bees, are, or the little ants, or the little insects, or whatever you want to imagine these discs are that are on the continent behind me are starting to boil up and um, uh, move their ideas further and further in age. We're about to the place where we could play um, the, the, music, the Joe D'Agostino music where the tools led me in the background. We're not quite there yet, um, but Lefty is in the romance era and there is something he is up to. I think um, Smiley actually pointed this out so the others were starting to suspect when he was just drawing card after card. They took a look at his board and they saw that he has the bicycle. The bicycle, if he draws enough cards, he can swap those cards with the his score pile um, and then have enough points to just achieve, 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 achieve. Yeah, that's four. That's how many he would need to win. So he could be winning this game very quickly unless the others figure out a way to stop it. Um, what can they do though? His board is so powerful, it'd be difficult to make it so that he couldn't do something. Um, one thing is that the bicycle is in crowns, and the crowns are um, currently Roadrunner's forte. So Roadrunner would get to, to use whatever action he got to as well. So she might be able to make it so that if he were to use it, she would also benefit. That could be one thing she could do. And then she could take some of those achievements for herself. Um, however, he's the only one drawing from Era 7. Really, you gotta take some of those cards away from him. Um, it's too bad that she covered up her construction, which she could take some of those cards pretty easily. Uh, with colonialism, she can no longer do that. So we'll have to see. People are going to be scrambling though to stop Lefty because otherwise the road is open uh, towards victory. Uh, we'll have to find out next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. The game can't last long. I, I imagine it's probably going to end next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. 